found the move. A plane that crashed landed was taken apart today, hours after the scary incident on Key Biscayne. CBS 4 Ted Scouten is there live tonight with reaction from a witness. This happened very late last night, didn't it, Ted? Yeah, Elliot, it did. It was after 11 o'clock when it happened. And uh, it, it appears that that pilot was perhaps trying to bring that plane down into Crandon Boulevard or a nearby field. Uh, but look what got in the way. That light pole there uh, got in his way. But you know, when everyone can walk away from something like this, it's really not a bad landing. This is going to be a plane down. Um, at Crandon Boulevard, it's a plane down. Late Thursday, a Cessna 172 makes an emergency landing in Crandon Park in Key Biscayne, taking out a light pole and ending up in a tree. He managed to, I believe, he got it stuck on top of the trees and then it just fell. Uh -huh. But he did hit a light post in the way, and I mean, it's a miracle. He no harm was sustained. He walked away perfectly fine. He was outside and walking when I saw him. Paul Malavenda was on the scene just moments after the plane made that emergency landing. Two people were on board. An instructor and student were practicing instrument flying when they reportedly said the engine quit. Paul spoke to the pilot. And he said that he really couldn't do anything because he just, like, once it's crashing, it's crashing. But he said he tried his best to get out of the way of other people and he was going to try to land over there in the field. But what happened was he just, like, he fell. The plane ended up just off Crandon Boulevard, feet from the road. Neither person on board was seriously injured. One had a broken nose. And he was outside and walking when I saw him. He wasn't even, in, he wasn't scared. He wasn't in shock. He was just, like, kind of nervous because of the crowd, I guess. Crew spent much of the day taking the plane apart so they could move it out of the area. People passing by were shocked to see a banged up plane, then to learn that no one was seriously hurt. I'm happy that there were no injuries, and, um, and it, I'm impressed that somebody landed the plane on this road. The plane came from the Dean International Flight School at Miami Executive Airport. That's the same flight school where earlier this month a student took a plane and crashed in the Everglades. That wreck was fatal. And we tried several times to get in touch with the owner of that flight school. We were told that he's out of town. Live in Key Biscayne, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.